In this problem, we have an equation with two square roots, and we're going to try to solve for x. So the strategy is basically you have to get rid of all the square roots. So we start by maybe solving for one of the square roots. I think the easiest one to solve for is the one here on the left. Let's start by adding the square root of x minus 3 to the other side. So plus square root x minus 3 plus square root x minus 3. These cancel, and so we have the square root of x plus 12, and that's equal to 3 plus the square root of x minus 3. So once you have um, you know, one of the square roots by itself on one side, you square both sides. That way you get rid of that square root. So let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and square this side and then square this side. So when you square the square root, it goes away. So you just get x plus 12. That part's pretty easy. And then the part that requires more work is this one. So there's a couple ways to do this. One way to do it is that whenever you see a 2, just write it twice. So 3 plus the square root of x minus 3 times 3 plus the square root of x minus 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this one down. x plus 12 is equal to, and now we'll go ahead and multiply this out. So we're basically just using FOIL. I just don't think of it as FOIL. We're just taking the 3 and multiplying it by both of these, and then taking the square root and multiplying it by both of these. That's the same thing. If you think about FOIL, it's first, so 3 times 3 is 9. Outside, so or outer, so 3 square root x minus 3. But basically what we did is we just took the 3 and multiplied it by both. Then we do the same thing with this one. Boom, this times this. So 3 square root x minus 3. And then this times this. So when you multiply these two, um, the square root will go away because it's the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of x minus 3. So the square root will go away. So you just get x minus 3. All right, let's go ahead and clean stuff up. I think we have some like terms here on the right. So x plus 12 is equal to, let's see, the 9 and the minus 3 are going to give us a positive 6. And then here in the middle, we have three of these plus three of these. That means we're going to have six of those, right? Three plus three is six. And then we still have the x over here, so plus x. So we still have um, a square root. So we want to solve for this square root so that we can square both sides. So let's go ahead and isolate it. We'll subtract six from both sides. Boom. And let's go ahead and subtract x at the same time. So minus x, minus x. Boom. So 12 minus 6 is 6. And that's equal to, these cancel as well. 6. Oh, this is nice. This is not so bad. It could have been worse. <laughs> you know, we could have had like more x's over here. I was like, no. Uh, this is a nice one. This is not, not, not super bad. And then divide by 6. Divide by 6. Uh, so we get 1 equals the square root of x minus 3. Good stuff. So now we need to get rid of the square root. So what do we do? We square both sides. Beautiful stuff. 1 squared is 1, and on the right-hand side we get x minus the number 3. We're almost done. <laughs> It'd be really bad to mess up here. All we have to do is add 3 to both sides. So plus 3 plus 3. And so you get x equals 4. Now, is that the answer? Well, the honest answer is I don't know. <laughs> we have to check. So whenever you have equations with square roots, it's super important to check. So I'm going to write down the original one. Uh, x plus 12, x minus 3. Let's see. So it was. this is the original question. x plus 12 minus the square root of x minus 3 equals 3. And so when you check, it's important to take your value of x and plug it into the original. So let's do that. So we have the square root of 4 plus 12. So we're checking for minus the square root of 4 minus 3, and that might be equal to 3. We'll find out. So let's see. 4 plus 12 is 16. So we have the square root of 16 minus 4 minus 3 is 1, so square root of 1, and that should be equal to 3 maybe. So 4, right, square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 1 is 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3. 
So three is equal to three. Yes, it checks. So that is the answer. So this is the answer. If it wouldn't have checked, then in this case, there would have been no solutions. That can happen. Um, it's really important that whenever you have square roots, uh, always, always, always uh, check your answers at the end. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.